Today we'll be discussing a new feature that was released in a retail update 3 in a Dynamic 365 for finance and operation. I will be using version 11 with the retail 3 update. From the first look, the functionality might look insignificant. However, I think it has a lot of potential moving forward, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So the new feature is category management and product creation improvement. So the retail product category management experience now allows merchandising managers to have commonality between retail product categories and release product details. So if you remember, in the previous version of AX 2012, we had a concept of uh, product templates. And uh, the concept still exists in Dynamic 365. Uh, the only difference is that uh, in the previous version, you were able to manage existing templates. And what I mean by that, you can actually delete created templates, whether they're private or global. You were able to use the home module and under setup record templates, you can actually select the templates and manage them somehow. So in the new version of Dynamic 365, I was not able to find this form. So the downside of using templates in Dynamic 365, first of all, there is no structure. So there's no hierarchy. The records that you will be creating, for example, if I'm gonna create personal template from here, I'm gonna call it demo four, demo four. Once the template is created from my uh, release product 01, there is no way for me to delete the record. I wasn't able to find it. And if you are able to delete the record from a user interface, let me know in a commentary how it's done. So for example, if I click apply template, we can see that my demo template is here. I can apply it and the template was created from my 01 product, but there's no way for me to delete that record. Uh, so why I'm, start, why I'm talking about templates, um, let's jump back to the, to the statement here. So I've seen a lot of companies are kind of afraid of retail module in a day-to-day -day scenarios. And uh, I'm actually pro retail when it comes to implementing any type of Dynamic 365 project, whether it's manufacturing environment or any other type of business that you're working with. And I'll tell you why. So in the previous version of uh, AX 2012, the retail category hierarchy consists of the following features. You were able to link release products to a specific retail category and specify some information on a release product. And uh, later you can use that retail category hierarchy on the, during the product creation process to apply that somewhat depleted information. So you're able to use your uh, tracking dimensions, storage dimensions, uh, default unit of measure. I think it was inventory default unit of measure, etc. So there was some good functionality. And even back then, uh, in X 2012, I was using the retail product hierarchy for multi-company environments to have uh, visual templates because using regular templates, you are unable to use your multi-level category hierarchy. So I'm going to quickly uh, show you print screen of the new functionality. So this is a print screen of uh, the new retail category structure. As you can see, I've highlighted new features that are available. So now you can actually see your purchase product properties, sell product properties, manage inventory, and manage cost product properties. So I'm gonna quickly switch back to Dynamic 365 environment. And from here, I will open uh, my release product and I will expand my purchase and I'll expand my sell tab, just an example for you guys. So I'm gonna switch uh, to a different Form, which is our retail product hierarchy. And uh, here you can see that I have a two level hierarchy. You can go more than two. For example, if you have uh, different product lines, different product versions, depending on the version or line, the setup might be different. Your templated data will be different. So if I go here under my, uh, for example, I'm gonna go to level two, and I'm gonna expand my purchase tab. And you will see that the purchase tab is exact copy of the purchase tab on the release product. So here's my purchase tab in release product, and here's my purchase tab in the retail category hierarchy. So another big plus is that these templates are legal entity specific. So if I'm gonna click edit and I will select uh, USRT, this is the legal entity I'm using for this demo, I will specify my default information specific to a legal entity. This is really nice. And I assume companies that will be interested in this feature that will have multiple companies uh, 
so just as a quick demo, I'm gonna select a default vendor, I'm gonna set it to one of three, and I'm gonna have a price set to 300. I'm gonna go to my uh, general product properties, and you can see that I have a tracking dimension set to non-storage dimension set to site warehouse, etc. So if you go to sell, you're gonna have exact replica of the sell tab from the release product. So I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna show you how this can be used. So one, one of the most common feature you will use this is when you try to create a new product from scratch. So I'm gonna click new, I'm gonna name my product uh, demo 009, and instead of applying my template, which is not categorized, you can see there's just only a few records showing, and imagine if you have uh, 20 product lines and 40 product versions, you're gonna have uh, basically a huge list that user will be unable to navigate. So instead of using templates, I'm gonna use my retail category, and I will select uh, next one, level two, and you will see that the information will be pre-populated based from the retail category template. I'm gonna click uh, OK, and you will see that the product with our data was created. So another way that you can utilize this feature is actually applying that, that retail product category template to an existing item. And uh, I think it's nicely done. Uh, to do that, you have to select the product record you wanna use. The next step, you would be selecting your product category and you have to make sure that this product is linked to your retail category that uh, you created. For us, we're gonna use our retail category two, retail product category, and then I'm gonna select next one level, next one level two. So what's gonna happen now is really interesting. As soon as I click save, the system's gonna show me prompt. This product's been assigned to a new retail product category. Do you want to update this product with the properties of new category? So I'm gonna click yes, and the beautiful part here, the system's gonna prompt 